To all TV series and movie lovers, we've got an exciting guide to the hottest new TV shows coming in 2020 and beyond. This is Riveted, and we have the best compilation yet. Number 1. Avatar – The Last Airbender I know you've been waiting for this one for so long, right? It's a Netflix original live-action fantasy adventure of an adaptation of the 2005 most famous animation of the same title. The last airbender civilization in the world of the Avatars is split and divided among four nations, the Air Nomads, Earth Kingdom, the Water Tribes, and Fire Nation. Only a chosen few known as the Benders can use their nation's elements through martial arts and telekinetic powers in each land. Avatar is the only one capable of using all four elements. With creators of the world of Avatar like Michael Dante DiMartino and Brian Konietzko and composer Jeremy Zuckerman in the production team, expect a blockbuster. The release date is yet to be announced, but will definitely keep you updated. Number 2. The Devil in the White City Fans of Leonardo DiCaprio and Martin Scorsese will definitely be excited about this one because the two have teamed up to bring you The Devil in the White City, which is a limited series for Hulu. It's based on Eric Larson's 2003 historical non-fiction book based on real actors' events. It's a story of the 1893 World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago from Daniel Burnham, the architect behind the 1893 World's Fair, and Dr. Holmes, a pharmacist and serial killer who lured his victims to their deaths in his elaborately constructed murder castle. Hulu announced that they would make a TV series of it, and DiCaprio is to take the lead role. The series will be all about murder, magic, and madness at the fair that changed America. Unfortunately, a trailer is unlikely to emerge until late 2019 or early 2020. And definitely, we will update you on this channel when the trailer is released. Number 3. C. Just from its title, this TV series is all about sight. The plot is about a human race in a dystopian future that has lost the sense of sight and has to find new ways to interact, build, hunt, and survive. All of this encounters a challenge when a set of twins with the ability to see is born. A devastating virus had wiped out almost all of the world's population, and the survivors were left permanently blind. The series takes place several hundred years later, and it's disputed whether humans really had a sense of sight. The series is directed by Francis Lawrence from The Hunger Games and is written by Stephen Knight from Peaky Blinders. The production will cost almost $15 million per episode, being one of the most expensive TV productions. Number 4. His Dark Material Philip Pullman's cult fantasy book series, His Dark Material, production is underway, and fans of the book have every reason to get excited. It is a BBC's televised version of the trilogy of novels starring Daphne Keene. So, what is there to know about this anticipated drama series? Well, the first part will cover the events of Northern Light, with the cursed child and Harry Potter writer Jack Thorne on board as the screenwriter. Daphne Keene, well known for her role in Marvel's Logan as Wolverine's daughter, will play the hero Lyra as James McAvoy takes up the role Lord Asriel. His dark material consists of three novels, The Northern Lights, The Subtle Knife, and The Amber Spyglass. Set in Oxford, but in a parallel universe, each person is accompanied by a daemon, an animal that represents the physical incarnation of their soul. In the hallowed Jordan College, Lyra lives happily with her uncle until Mrs. Coulter comes to take her to London. Screenwriter Thorne said during one of the filming sessions that his dark materials are the most beautiful set of books taking readers into a world of imagination. He revealed that he's a huge fan, he enjoyed adapting them, and he loves the way the story never sits still and the character and plot continually surprises people. So we might be in for a real treat with this one. 5. Belgravia Belgravia is a six-part drama series that is set among the upper echelon of the London society in the 19th century. The Trenchards accept an invitation to the legendary ball hosted by the Duchess of Richmond on the fateful evening of the Battle of Waterloo. This sets in motion a series of events that will have consequences for decades to come as secrets unravel behind the portico doors of London's grandest postcode, according to ITV's synopsis. Best known for her roles as Black Book, Green Wing, and Shaun of the Dead, Tamsin Grieg will play the part of Anne Trenchard. Also in the cast is Alice Eve, who starred in Iron Fist and Ordeal by Innocence, and she'll play the role Susan Trenchard. James Trenchard will be performed by Philip Glenister, who among many other films is well known for his role in Mad Dogs. 6. The Serpent the Serpent is a series that will document the crimes of Charles Sobraj, the chief suspect in the murders of 20 young Western travelers in India, Nepal, and Thailand between 1975 and 1976. The series is titled The Serpent due to the killer's skills at deception and evasion. He was also known as the Bikini Killer because all of his victims wore bikinis. Sobraj regularly slipped through the net of police, and eventually he became Interpol's most wanted criminal. He had arrest warrants from three different continents by 1976, French actor Tahar Rahim is set to take the lead role of the murderer Sobraj. He's famous for his role in the Oscar-nominated French crime drama A Prophet. Number 7. The Voyage of Dr. Doolittle 
For the lovers of comedy, The Voyage of Dr. Doolittle will most certainly keep you glued to your TV. It revolves around the eccentric Dr. John Doolittle, a former physician who lives with animals and treats them, claiming that he can communicate with them. Fascinating. It's scheduled to be released on January 17, 2020, with Robert Downey Jr. as the lead character. Well, if you don't know him, he's the Iron Man. The Voyage of Dr. Doolittle is a star-studded film as it features Selena Gomez, Octavia Spencer, Emma Thompson, and John Cena, among many others. It's written and directed by Oscar winner Stephen Gagan. He has written and also directed films such as Rules of Engagement, Gold, Havoc, and many more. Number 8. The SpongeBob Movie – It's a Wonderful Sponge this is an upcoming American live-action animated comedy film based on the animated television series SpongeBob SquarePants. It's directed by Tim Hill, who wrote the screenplay, and the film serves as a prequel to the SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water, from 2015. It'll be released on May 22, 2020 by Paramount Pictures and is produced by Paramount Animation, United Plankston Pictures, and Nickelodeon. Tom Kenny, who did the previous voicing of the role of SpongeBob, will still take up the role as well as the other cast members, as they are expected to reprise their roles too. 9. Onward Onward is an upcoming animated urban fantasy film that is produced for Walt Disney Pictures by Pixar Animation Studios. Main characters are voiced by Tom Holland, Chris Pratt, and Octavia Spencer, and the film is scheduled to be released on March 6, 2020. It's directed by Dan Scanlon and produced by Corey Ray. It's set in a magical world that is populated with elves, mermaids, gnomes, centaurs, goblins, trolls, and sprites, plus other mystical creatures. This world is, however, losing its sense of magic as its occupants start using machines such as phones and cars instead of magic. Two teenage brothers who are elves begin a quest to discover if there is still magic in the world in order to spend a day with their father, who died while they were still very young and they hardly remembered him. And number 10, Penny Dreadful City of Angels. Sometimes what is dead does not always remain, is the initial tagline from the original series, Penny Dreadful, City of Angels Brandishes. It's described as a spiritual descendant of the original series, which is set to focus on an entirely new set of characters. It involves events rooted in Mexican-American aspects of supernatural folklore, with denizens who are in conflict over their respective focuses of worship, with some loyal to the deity, Santa Muerte, and others who worship the devil. The show is also described as an amalgamation of the social realities of the setting and period with themes focusing on the occult. City of Angels will apparently focus on a balance of its own between the socio-political and the supernatural. Unlike the original series, balanced themes of magic and monsters. Michael Gladys and Lorenza Izzo are to play the two leading roles, and we believe they will do some quite amazing work as they have starred together in previous productions including the 2016 AMC crime drama Feed the Beast. 11. Lord of the Rings Lord of the Rings has been adapted a number of times, but the best is yet to come from this new adaptation by Amazon. Since its announcement, there are a lot of expectations from this new adaptation fantasy series of J.R. Tolkien's. You might be wondering why Amazon came up with this series, yet we all know and have watched Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings trilogy. Well, that's a genuine concern. From the information we've already gathered from this expensive and the most expansive project, there are enough reasons to be excited. 1. Lord of the Rings is being crafted by writers from Stranger Things, The Sopranos, Breaking Bad, Hannibal, and many more. You need an outstanding and excellent team of writers to come up with such a huge show. With so much at stake, including money, you simply cannot afford to come up with a not-up-to-standard kind of a script. It was also revealed on the show's Twitter page that the Amazon series assembled an excellent company of writers, many of whom have written for most of the acclaimed TV series of our generation. Lord of the Rings will also be the biggest fantasy series since Game of Thrones. HBO's Game of Thrones has left a massive gap in high-end budget fantasy on television. There's a vacuum for TV stations and streaming platforms to present an outstanding show that's just as good or even greater than GOT that'll keep the already hungry audience for a fantasy series glued to their seats. The series will expand the story in ways the movies couldn't, and Amazon is reported to have pumped in a billion dollars, the biggest in a television series, to make it a success. And it covers 3,000 years, which give the writers and directors enough content. Well, the future definitely looks very bright in terms of entertainment. Don't you think so? Let us know the film you're really looking forward to watching in 2020 and beyond. This has been Riveted, and we'll keep you updated in case anything comes up about your favorite shows.